Welcome back. Check in with our weather watchers this evening. And yeah, temperatures uh, quite a bit colder than they were at this time yesterday. I had that cold front come through right around midnight uh, very early this morning. And that's when our high temperature of the day occurred. 39 degrees, but a far cry from that right now. 20 right now in Aaron, Don and Thurston's looking at a temperature of 20 degrees. And Nancy and Howard's got 24. Well, we're looking at the 26 in Wellsburg, 19 in Ithaca. Uh, George and uh, Watkins Glen got 23 degrees and Carol and Gilton reporting a temperature of 29. So again, sub freezing temperatures across the area and we're looking at the potential for a record breaking night tonight. We're forecasting a low of 8 degrees. The current record for tomorrow morning sits at 10 and that goes back to 2004. So uh, yeah, bitterly cold, but uh, things are going to change here as we go through the next 24 hours. Big area of high pressure and control tonight. So that's one of the reasons why we're expecting that very cold night and the winds will gradually diminish with that high nearby. But once it slides off towards the east, uh, winds around high pressure go in a clockwise fashion. So we're talking more of a southerly wind flow here as we go through tomorrow afternoon and especially closer to Friday. So that'll start to boost temperatures up a little bit. A little bit concerned about uh, the Friday morning commute. So this is what we're tracking right now. An area of low pressure back over the Great Lakes. It'll be dragging a warm front through our area around daybreak Friday morning. And as this front comes through, temperatures will be sub freezing. So there could be some sleet or freezing rain first thing Friday morning. But eventually the warmth will win out. We're talking just scattered rain showers for the afternoon as temperatures rise well into the 40s. Not much showing up on satellite and radar right now with that high pressure nearby. Had some uh, lake enhanced clouds and flurries earlier today, but even those are beginning to dissipate up towards the Ithaca area. Temperature wise for tomorrow forecasting 40 degrees. So despite temperature starting out in the single digits tomorrow, we should get close to 40, close to 50 on Friday. And then an interesting forecast over the weekend. Look at this tight temperature gradient. We're going to have a frontal boundary drape right across the viewing area. We think we hit 50, but again, if that front lifts a little bit farther to the north, we'll get a little bit warmer than that and vice versa. The front goes a little bit farther south. So we're going to split the difference right now and go with temperatures right around 50, which is on par uh, for what's normal this time of year. Future track not showing much of anything here through the overnight period with clear skies. It's just going to be a bitterly cold night out there. No problems out the door tomorrow morning other than the cold temperatures and we keep it sunny for tomorrow. Enjoy it while it lasts because we're looking at an extended stretch of cloudy skies and unsettled conditions here in the Twin Tiers beginning on Friday and notice first thing Friday there could be a little bit of a wintry mix out there over to rain showers for the afternoon with temperatures Friday rising again well into the 40s to near 50. So tomorrow's weather, a lot of sunshine and again temperatures rising through the 30s, topping out near 40. For today, we forecast 34. It was 39 for the official high, but that was way back at midnight. For the rest of tonight, cold down to about 8 degrees with clear skies, winds gradually diminishing. 40 for tomorrow with a lot of sunshine out there. More clouds move in for tomorrow night. An early mix on Friday over to rain showers and then through the weekend, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, more showers in the forecast with temperatures pretty much hanging out where they should be for this time of year, upper 40s to around 50. So again, a lot of sun tomorrow. <laughs> Last time we we're forecasting some sunshine until perhaps the middle of next week. Interesting seven day. It looks like the sun takes a timeout. It will be taking a timeout, uh, but uh, most of that precipitation that we're forecasting in the form of rain and not mm. snow may have a little rain or snow mixed by the middle of next week as temperatures come down just a little bit. All right, thanks, Joe. Good.